All right, well, if you've seen the movie The Joker, you'll notice that he has a knife that looks kind of like this. This is not the same kind. What he has is actually a Dalton Cupid. Those knives are like a couple hundred dollars. They're kind of expensive, but this is a spring-assisted one. I think this thing's like about... It has to be less than $20, because this is a, actually a tack force. That's one of those uh, cheaper spring-assisted ones. It's usually like around $6, between 6 and 20 This is a clone of a Cupid that only cost me, with the price of it and the shipping and handling, 50 bucks. Well, actually, it didn't cost me it. My sister bought it for me, because I asked Really, really nice. And the website actually said like 20 or $30. And we're like, oh, okay. That, that, that's a reasonable price for what it is. Then she got screwed on the shipping and handling. And it ended up being a total of 50 bucks. She was not happy when she figured that out. But, yeah. The thing about this that just bothers me. You're trying to do this all one-handed. Pretty good for you. Meh. One thing that bothers me about this, I did not, I did not push this on my sheet. I was actually holding it still so I could grab it like this and pull it back with my finger because this is the charging handle of it. Do not have a full grip on this when you try to push it because it will not work because the pinky is holding the blade. See right there? Now the cool thing about this is the button, if it is not fully depressed, will actually pinch the blade and hold it still. It is not intended to do that, but it does it. Just there, which actually helps with the pulling it back in. However, this actually, if you were to hold it all the way down, and you would actually squeeze it and do that on accident, you can then squeeze it again. Let the tension up on the button, and it would fully go, because this button, or the spring inside here, is actually full tilt. It shoves it all the way there. So when the spring is fully expanded, it is actually longer than the distance between the blade and where it stops. So when you hold this down, it will push it all the way no matter what it bumps into as long as there's room for it. This does not actually have really high penetration capabilities. As I recently figured out, I was like, oh, this thing looks dangerous. It's not, its penetration isn't actually that high. You just have to squeeze the button on it. And yeah, this is me actually pushing it on my sheets. There's nothing on my sheet. This is actually my bed sheet. I just used it as a backdrop because it looks kind of cool. But yeah. I'm going to add links to all three of my knives. This is the... Where you want, and this is my other out the front. This one is the really, really crazy safe one. Because you have to apply like... Between 5 and 10 pounds of pressure on this switch. Just to get it to pop out. And then right at the very last inch is the hardest part. Because, like, getting it to scoot almost all the way there is kind of easy. Probably, like, three or five pounds. But then you have to push really hard at the end to get it to actually go all the way. That's why sometimes I'll push it and stop. Because that's where the stop is on it. I don't... This is the easy part. Like, I can, like, snag this on my foot. And all it's doing is going to the point right there where the brake is and then stopping. Because that point right there is so hard to get up over that it doesn't, it can't do it. And this one is the safest one. This is a double action out the front, which means I can pull it out and I can pull it back in. This one is a single action, which means it only goes out. I have to manually retract it with the charging handle. Like I can't squeeze this and make it come back. I have to manually do it. Ah, come on. Don't drag it. All right. This is another neat thing I found, is that if I get it started, like if I just flop it out, get it started, I can actually just grab a hold of my pants, get the lever to snag, this thing sometimes has problems with it when I do it with the wrong hand, but yeah, I can just push it down, and this lever actually snags on the thicker seams in my pockets, and I can actually just stick it against my pants and just run it, and it just cocks itself back as long as I'm holding down on the button like I'm supposed to. I can also do it on the bottom of my shoes too, which is a pretty cool thing. But yeah, I'm going to leave a link for each one of these in case you want to check them out. This is legal in all 50 states.